If you find faults with our country, make it a better one. John McCain led a life dedicated to public service and the protection of the United States. John Sidney McCain III was born August 29, 1936, on a naval base near the Panama Canal. His father and grandfather, both four-star admirals, he attended the Naval Academy at Annapolis, and when war broke out in Vietnam, he volunteered to fly bombers. In October of 1967, McCain was shot down over Hanoi and captured. He also broke both legs and one of his arms in the crash. Five and a half years passed before McCain's release. Most of the time, he was in solitary confinement. I'm sure that I will get well. The Viet Cong had repeatedly offered to set him free because of his father's rank, but McCain kept refusing, saying he didn't think it would be honorable. To make government stand on your side, not in your way. McCain's move into politics and the Republican Party began when he was a Navy liaison to the Senate. From there, he ran for Congress, representing Arizona, first in the House and then the Senate. He made his first run for president in 2000, positioning himself as a maverick willing to buck his party. McCain crisscrossed the country in a bus he dubbed the Straight Talk Express, winning early primaries like New Hampshire, but ultimately losing the nomination. Eight years later, he ran again. I know how to fight and I know how to make peace. This time he won the nomination and faced Barack Obama. McCain had an early lead in the polls, but it vanished when the economy fell into a tailspin. The American people have spoken, and they have spoken clearly. McCain went back to work in the Senate, winning re-election two more times. He also conquered several cases of skin cancer, but when he was diagnosed with brain cancer this past July, it was clear his condition was dire. When he returned to the Senate for a vote on health care, McCain was greeted with a standing ovation. Then came his trademark, straight talk. We're getting nothing done, my friends. We're getting nothing done. The day after McCain helped defeat the bill, he was back at work and living words he once spoke at the Republican National Convention. My country saved me. My country saved me, and I cannot forget it. And I will fight for her as long as I draw breath, so help me God.